YouTube channel all right so for today's video I'll be sharing to you what's inside my work bag I think this is very timely since most of the towns right nowadays or right now is being lifted from ECQ to GCQ or MECQ it's all about the quarantine stuff that happened because of COVID-19 and some of the workers will now go back to their respective works and with our company as well as some of the employees will also go back to work now so I think this is a good time to share it to you what's inside my work bag my everyday work bag before the quarantine happened and the you lagi kung dinadala I hope it can help you guys organize your stuff and everything. And if you're not yet a subscriber of my YouTube account or this channel, all you have to do is to click the subscribe button, tap the notification bell so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video of mine. So if you're ready and you want to watch and you want to see what's inside my work bag, let's begin! Okay, so here is my work bag. <laughs> my heavy, heavy work bag. It's black, it's big, and it's heavy. Because <laughs> I put a lot of things in my bag. And then I'm a kind of person that really wants my things to be in one place. I don't want to bring like the baunan style or the paper bag style. I wanted everything inside. So this is my bag, my work bag. Actually, I've been planning to purchase this bag for quite some time ever since I saw it from one of my colleagues, Miss Janine, engineering department. I, I re it really got my attention because it looks durable and for me, durability and quality is number one, okay? Um, second is the style. I always, always look into bags that are in dark color, especially black, so it can fit you in any shade of, of outfit that you wanted to wear. And plus, it is really good for office kind of bag because you can actually wear this one in three ways later on. I'll show you how it works or how you can use it in three ways. Got this bag from Alt Manila. Alt Manila is a local supplier of bags. So, yes, yeah, support local, the right? guys? Let's support local. They really do or made good quality bags, you know. I haven't tested this one yet, but I can tell you guys that this is a great one, a good one. This is a good bag. You can actually look their bags on their website. I will link it down below, but here is their Instagram account. They're very responsive in terms of orders. So if you want to purchase one of their bags, just go to their Instagram account to know all of the designs, to know all of the colors, and I assure you, it's worth the price. It's worth the money. So, let's begin. Okay, so this is how my bag looks. There. Okay, and inside my bag, there's actually a mini bag or what they call this bag organizer. Whenever I want to change my bags, I just take this one out so that I can place it to the bag that I wanted to use for the day or for the meantime. And what's inside this organizer? Actually, I've had this organizer for quite some time. I can't remember where that I bought this one. This, this bag organizer actually... I bought it actually around 2015, I guess. Why do I have this kind of organizer? Okay. First is I don't want my things inside my bag cluttered. Yung kalat kalat. Yung kalat kalat. Especially when you have a big bag. And you don't know when to place a certain thing. Especially if it's small or if it's your coin purse or whatever. I really want my things to be organized. So that's why I have this organizer. Organizers are the following. So my organizer includes this one, my shades. Ah, this, ah, okay. So my shades is actually a gift from my brother last two years ago. I think this was two years ago. But I seldom use 
shades. It's just that I'm really not fond of wearing shades, but if the weather is too sunny and if I remember I have shades on my bag, then I will wear it. Okay, next on my bag organizer, I have different kinds of tissues. I have the dry ones and I have two wet tissues. And what else do I have here is all the stuff that is in sanitation uh, side. So alcohol, I have um, baby powders, and of course the tita in me. And this one, I really can't leave our house without a hand cream because I have dry hands. And this was a gift from one of my colleagues as well. Lizelle, hi. I, I use it. I really love it. It's really my hand cream. It has a lot of pockets inside. So it's really great because if I want to place a small thing, I'll just shoot it there. And that is my chick tin okay I always carry chick tin I have two kinds of chick tin because let's face it I'm on a kind of job that always face people but I don't know after this quarantine if I'm going to face it or I'm just going to face it online so I have to look presentable most of the time yes I always carry a small ever since I started vlogging I carry this one I carry my, how do you call this one? A mini tripod. So it's bendable. I actually bought it somewhere in Pedro Hill. <laughs> Sa sides lang. For, for, for 50 pesos. So it includes this one. So whenever I go emergency shoot. Because I love shooting videos of someone of course. So I have this handy dandy mini tripod. And fan of course. Because in Philippines, it's very unique. And next is the powder. I always see to it that the powder is easily accessible because if there's an emergency meeting or I need to meet someone very quick, I just grab it here and then check myself on the mirror and then snap and then, yeah. Next is this one, okay. Why do I put a small notebook inside a plastic container? It's because it's paper and you'll never know if the things or the liquid things inside your organizer spilled. At least your paper is protected by plastic container. And I don't know, it's just a thing of me because when I was in college, I always spill either my cologne or my alcohol inside my bag and all of my paper stuff is ruined. So I, it became a habit of mine. And then next is this mini organizer. Uh, it actually contains the girly stuff, of course. You know that, girls. In times of emergency, you'll have that. <laughs> so, it contains all of the emergency stuff. The small cords, band-aid, and some aspirins, paracetamol, and then, yeah. Mostly, it's a, it is a medicine and a female emergency kit. And then, of course, my battery pack, my power bank. I can't leave the house without battery packs. Then, this is aside from my wallet. I have a small um, ID wallet wherein I put all of the important uh, IDs. I really don't put all of my IDs inside my wallet simply because I carry my wallet whenever I want to go in a place just to buy a drink or just to buy snacks. And you know, you can you will never know. I might misplace my wallet, so I tend to separate the important IDs and just bring one ID on my main wallet. All of the important IDs, my driver's license, cards, and purse. So I put all my coins here. I really don't want my main wallet to be really bulgy. That's why I have a separate coin purse. So on the other side of the bag, there's this mesh type. And it's really in me that I really cannot go without mints. So I always have mints. I also always have mint candies like mentos. I have here polo. So it's it's just there in my bag. It's <laughs> not I, my bag is always closed and I keep it clean, of course. And then, 
a tie, a hair tie. I always have that. And pens. So I have three pens. And that's it. So, yeah, wala na siyang laman. So here is my stuff. And this is where I put my perfume. So I have this perfume. I actually bought this one in festival in Alabang. It's in a kiosk, but I don't remember what kiosk is this one. But it's really good. It smells really good. So I still have uh, tons of things here on my bag. First is my cosmetics kit or my makeup kit. So I really don't bring as much makeup inside my bag simply because it will be heavy. And when I'm in the office, I only use the powder and the tints or lipsticks. Depends on my mood. So I really don't bring my makeup. But the staple that I bring is the pangkilay, the blusher, the tints, and I really cannot go without a balm. My lips tend to crack um, if the aircon in the office is really winter wonderland. Yeah. Next is my wallet, of course. I bought it in Rustans, if I'm not mistaken, from Santa Barbara Polo and Racket Club. So, yeah. I carry one essential ID, one government essential ID only, and zipper. Yeah. What to see? It's just a wallet. You know what's inside a wallet. Every one of you has a wallet. My favorite color is brown. Any kinds of brown. Chocolate, especially chocolate brown. And up to the shade of the lightest brown to beige, to cream, to caramel. So that's my favorite color. Brown. But I don't want my bag to be brown. Most of my bags are black, talaga. Hygiene kit! Okay, so for you girls, I always, 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 always <laughs> carry my hygiene kit comb. And I bring body wash. But I really don't use it in my body. I use it to wash my hands. Especially in times that there's no soap available. So I, wa I use body wash to clean my hands. Floss. Or toothpaste. Toothbrush, Q-tips. I have Q-tips. I don't know why I have Q-tips. Cotton, small cotton, and then another perfume. It is within a mesh bag. Toothbrush gets wet, and your toothpaste might get wet. And then of course I have my file or the umbrella because we don't know shit happens. Then lastly, on the secret pocket, of course I have my ID. The crown pocket. Yeah. There's nothing. There's what's inside my work bag. And that is what I carry usually whenever I go to work. And as you can see, I carry a lot of things. And I and most of the things that I have right now, I really cannot go outside the house without it. So yeah, that's basically what's inside my bag. And let's talk about again this bag because I've told you a while ago that there are three ways to wear this bag. And my favorite one is to wear it just the ordinary way because I'm a girly girly type of person and most of the times my mood is really to wear this kind of way. To show you the ways to wear or to carry this bag is first is this way. So it's the handbag way. The second one is to wear it in a sling type so the handles are much longer so you can wear it in a sling type. And the third one is which is the a really interesting one. You can wear it as a backpack. Yeah, it depends on my mood, on what style or what way do I want to wear this bag. This is again from Alt Manila. If you want to check their bags, they can ship during this quarantine period. This is locally made, support local. It's really fab, it's really stylish. It's durable and it's waterproof, guys. It's waterproof. I have already tested it. That's why I really, really like this bag. Thank you so much for creating this bag, Alt Manila. And thank you, Janine, for recommending Alt Manila to me. Really appreciate it. So there you go, Beshies. That is what's inside my work bag. And I hope by the time that all employees will go back to work, just be safe, stay safe, stay healthy, and follow the precautionary measures that your company is implementing. It's for your own safety. Again, I wish everyone safety, and I wish 
everyone to stay positive and stay healthy and thank you so much guys for watching this video if you want me to do more contents or if you want to request contents that i can do here on my channel just comment down below and again if you're not yet a subscriber of my channel don't forget to click the subscribe button tap the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever i upload a new video and like this video as well okay beshi so there you go beshi wops thank you so much for watching this video and stay safe stay positive and spread love bye